We're going to talk about creating styles uh, for our chapter headings in, in Microsoft Word. This is going to save time, keep consistency. It'll also uh, help reduce section breaks in the long run. Now, right here is where our text first begins to have normal style all the way through. And normal style for us is Garamond 11, but yours could be different, uh, and that's fine too. And, you, and just because this is in bold, it's still normal style, as, as if I put the cursor within the um, paragraph, it's, it's normal style. And we're going to change all these things a little bit. But just to have some consistency for the chapters, a lot of people like to bring their chapters lower a bit. And instead of constantly changing the um, top margin in the um, page layout section, um, we can create a style that drops it down a little and gives it any font size or look that we want. Um, so let's just do that. Let's create a style here. I could either go through styles and choose the add style button, new style, or I could just right click here and go to style and do save selection as an, a new quick style. There's usually more than one way to get there. Let's call this chapter titles and we'll modify it and so right now it's based on normal style but we can change that we could we could make it centered uh, we could make it a different font right now uh, Garamond for the for the text is a, a serif font we could do a sans serif font for a little bit of um, differentiation like uh, quicksand for example and I could uh, make the size bigger, maybe um, maybe 14 or 16 or so. We'll go 14, and maybe I'll even underline it, you know, or you could create a border. There's this format tab uh, that has like border and stuff that you can create if you want. Or we could just work with the paragraph settings in terms of spacing before and spacing after. Um, I could give this two inches of spacing here by typing two inches. I think it's 144 points if you want to do it by points. And then after in the line setting, I might bump this up to uh, two lines of, uh, of blank spacing um, afterwards. And one thing I'll still have to add is a, a section break before this. But I'm going to uncheck this box check OK and OK here. Now it hasn't dropped it down because really I need to go back to the last section break which isn't. Yep, it's a page break. I'm going to delete this page break, go to page layout breaks, give it a section break there and uh, delete that uh, paragraph return. And Now you can see that it's given uh, the space here but it hasn't needed a new section break to start this um, uh, this side over here at the proper margin. Let me zoom forward to chapter two. So to do the same thing for chapter two and the rest of the chapter is going to be really quick now. I can just put my cursor here, uh, give it a return, go to um, page layout breaks and section break new page. I'm actually going to delete this couple of things because we don't need it. My cursor's here. All I need to do is go to the Home tab and choose Chapter Title. And it's automatically formatting uh, it for me. Let's do Chapter 3 too quickly. Here we are at Chapter 3, and I can do the same thing. Put my cursor there, give it a return, Page Layout, Breaks, Next Page, Section Break. And I can delete these two things. Just have my cursor here, choose the Home tab, and go to Chapter Titles in the, in the um, style. So that's a really nice way to, um, to create a quick formatting change um, that we can do throughout for all of our chapters. And we're going to do similar things with styles uh, to our uh, text body as well.